Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be bringing you along on a what I eat in a day video today. I finished up my alternating lean and fat day challenge. Um, I did that during the month of October. So I finished that up a few days ago and right now I am on a break, a week long break, just eating normally. And my normal diet is a, what I call a ketovore diet. It's basically a higher protein keto, moderate amount of fat, but really focusing on getting in all my protein because that's how I feel my best. I went over my plans on my last Wellness Wednesday video, so I'll link that up in the cards, but I will be doing some more lean days coming up. I just wanted to take a week-long break after I lost some weight in my October challenge and just wanted to give myself a little bit of a break before I start that up again. So today is a regular higher fat ketovore day. Also throughout the day, I'm gonna be showing you how I input my foods into carb manager. I have been tracking my macros and calories and food in carb manager and it's been going pretty well. I have a video where I talked about my change from not counting to counting now. I will put that up in the cards as well if you're interested in why I'm counting and doing all that. But I had a request um, to show exactly how I use Carb Manager um, just throughout the day in my what, night, what I Eat in a Day video. So I am going to do that today. So you'll be seeing how I use that app and hopefully that is helpful. First thing this morning, I'm having a cup of coffee with a serving of my pumpkin spice creamer blend. I did a video on that recently, which I will link up in the cards. The pumpkin spice flavor is actually growing on me um, in coffee. I said in the video that I like it mostly in tea, which I do, but um, I've had it in coffee a couple times recently and it's not half bad. Opening up Carb Manager to add in my morning coffee. So there is a way to add things that reoccur every day. And so I have on their coffee and I have on there my electrolyte drink. I typically have about three cups of coffee in the day, so I put 30 ounces in there, but I can change it if I need to. I just hit the add to log button to um, just throw it in. And I just add both of those to the log because I know I'm gonna have those throughout the day. I added my pumpkin spice creamer as a recipe. So I am gonna go over to my foods and then hit my recipes and I have all of my different recipes in here. My pumpkin spice dairy-free creamer is here at the bottom and I'm doing just one serving which is 26 grams, 141 calories and just hitting add. So I adjusted my different meals. I have breakfast, lunch and dinner and then drinks as a category just because I liked keeping that all together. So whenever I have a tea or coffee or electrolyte drink, I just add it to the drinks category and then that keeps my breakfast, lunch, and dinner separate. Just hitting add. And now the pumpkin spice dairy-free creamer is in my drinks category. And I've only had 10 ounces of coffee so far, so I'll just go ahead and put that at 10, but I will probably change it uh, throughout the day because I'll have at least one more cup of coffee during the day. I am rushing out the door because I have to take Autumn to work and then I'm taking the kids to the library and running a few errands. So I mixed up my electrolyte drink to take. I'm doing mixed berry today, which is delicious. I um, didn't have a chance to eat breakfast before I have to leave. So I just grabbed some turkey breast. This is the oven roasted turkey breast from Costco, um, like the pre-cooked stuff. It's really good and it's really easy to eat in the car and then also I um, might get a coffee while I'm out like at Starbucks so in here I still had some of the uh, vital proteins vanilla creamer that I had ordered so I put in a scoop of that and a scoop of the MCT oil powder and I'll be able to just dump this in to my coffee if I get it at Starbucks do not point at other people's faces not for children under 10 years i forgot to get a stir let's see if i can get this mixed in oh yeah i could use your little flyer thing to stir it here uh, woohoo they just got these at wilco for free okay. for trick-or-treat prizes it's a coffee stir don't worry i'll clean it for you charity yeah. you smell like coffee after this yeah it is I'm going to have to let it sit for a minute to get all the way dissolved. 
Daddy was just finishing up work, so he met us at the library. Now we're having family time. All right. This is the fun stuff that happens when Daddy's here at the playground. Wow! That was awesome! Now we are taking a little walk over to a restaurant called Mike's Drive-In. I haven't been there, but it's one of my husband's favorite places to go when he is uh, working. Good burgers and fries, and so I'll see if I can get some burger patties. So they were able to sell me side burger patties, two of them, two quarter pound burger patties for four bucks. Good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Burgers in here? These are my patties right here. Oh, it's not good. Wow. What do you think, Levi? Did you get a burger? And some fries? Hey, that's mine. You got your own. I got a hamburger. You did get a hamburger. Take a few. That's fine. Here you go, Charity. Put this on top with the fries. And then you're going to eat over at the other table over there or at that table with Renee? You should sit there next to Renee. All right, we're back home now. Levi's down for his nap. I haven't put anything in since my morning coffee. So I'm going to add breakfast. I'm going to add my coffee. I'm going to add my lunch. So I had 16 ounces of coffee at Starbucks. So I'll change this to 26. Um, and then I had... For the creamer, I had the MCT oil powder, and on here you can favorite certain foods. So if you search something, your favorites that match the search criteria um, come up first, which is nice. I had a scoop, which was 10 grams. And then I had the Vital Proteins Vanilla Creamer, which I will say I don't really like. I really loved the Mocha. Let's see, Vital. I really love the mocha, but the vanilla wasn't that great, but I'm still trying to use it up since I have it. So a scoop is 13 grams, and it was kind of a bummer. The um, MCT oil powder did not mix in ever in the coffee, so it was not great. So from now on, I'm just going to bring my homemade blend of creamer because that actually will eventually dissolve and mix in even without a frother, so that was a lesson learned. All right, that was my coffee. Now I'm going to switch to breakfast. It's a very simple breakfast. I just had that turkey breast and it was eight ounces. All right, it's this Costco turkey breast. It's like a whole turkey breast that you slice yourself. It's great for lean days. Um, it has some sugar in the ingredients but not enough to even give a carb per serving so I think it's good so I got eight ounces of that for breakfast and then the burger patties that I got at Mike's drive-in were very similar to the McDonald's burger patties and they were a quarter pound also so I'm just going to do the McDonald's um, quarter pound burger patties let's see yeah that's it I favorited that and I had two and that's lunch and add. And I think that was it, right? Let's see, so, so far today, I've had almost a thousand calories. So I have room for a pretty hefty dinner if I want to. I kinda ate lean, especially cause I ate the, um, just the turkey breast for breakfast. I did have my coffee that had plenty of fat in it, but it was a pretty lean breakfast. So I'm at 52, almost 53% fat, 44% protein and 3.1% carbs, 7.1 carbs so far, 100 grams of protein so far. I like keeping my protein high in the morning, making sure I get that in. That really regulates my appetite for the rest of the day. So happy with that. That is how I'm looking. I've only had one and a half scoops of the um, electrolyte mix so far. I have three on there because I usually will redo a refill. 
and I probably am due for a refill here pretty soon so I'll be doing that and that's what it looks like I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for dinner that is the next thing on the agenda I'm getting ready to start dinner and I wanted to use these pork chops that I got yesterday got them reduced for a good price and I was wishing I had some mushrooms because I would love to make some creamy mushroom pork chops um, I have a video on my instant pot creamy mushroom pork chops from a long time ago but I will put it up in the cards uh, but I don't have any mushrooms so I decided I'd try to make something similar with bell peppers kind of like a pepper creamy pepper sauce pork chop for the creaminess, I'm gonna be using coconut milk because I am still not doing dairy. But I'm gonna get this going in my Instant Pot right now, and if you want the recipe, um, just go to the link in the cards. I'll try to put it down in the description below as well. It is a great dairy-free Instant Pot recipe that I have not done in quite some time, so I'm excited to get that going for dinner tonight. So I didn't have any broth made um, and the recipe calls for broth. So what I did is I just used water and then added some of the Redmond season salt. I think that's gonna give it really good flavor. So I ended up blending the sauce because the peppers were so cooked that it just made more sense to blend them up. And then I sauteed to thicken the sauce and it looks super good. And I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna dig into some pork chops. We have some leftover rice in the fridge and I think the kids and possibly my husband will have rice with theirs, which sounds really good too. Did you want some rice and pork chop? Yes. Yes, please? Yes, please. This is about one small pork chop plus a half of another pork chop. And it is almost 6.30 and I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna dig into this. So this kind of meal gets a little bit tricky to add into the app because I don't know, I doesn't. there's no packaging that gives me the exact um, calories or anything. I just have to kind of guess and you can get really obsessive with it, which I have done in the past and like, you know, tried to weigh everything and then create a recipe in whatever app I'm using and figure out the servings and all that, but I don't have time for that. And so I just kind of guess I did weigh the pork chops and, um, I, they were between eight and 10 ounces each and they were not super lean, but they were not super fatty either. On here they give me lean pork chops as an option and just pork chops. I'm just gonna do the regular pork chops. And I had one small pork chop that was probably the eight ounce one. And then about half of another one so that was probably half of a nine ounce one. So that was four and a half, but then I didn't eat it all. So that would have been what, um, 12 and a half. I'm gonna say 11 ounces. I think I probably ate 11 ounces total. And the other thing that's confusing is with this um, listing here, I don't know if they're talking about 11 ounces cooked or 11 ounces raw. I measured them raw, of course, so, but I'm, I don't really care that much, so I'm just putting this in. 667 calories, that sounds like it could be right. So I'm adding that, and then I put in a cup of, well, it was eight and a half ounces of the coconut milk. So, and I didn't eat a ton of the sauce. There was still a lot left, so it was probably maybe, oops, uh, coconut milk, I can't talk and type at the same time. 
I'm gonna guess I had maybe three tablespoons. That doesn't, that sounds like even too much. Maybe two tablespoons. I'm gonna say 30 grams of the coconut milk ended up in my serving. And then there were some onions, maybe a tablespoon if that. Let's see, I can do table, well, tablespoon chopped. One, add that, and then the bell pepper. Yellow pepper. So I probably put, I don't know, maybe two and a half to three cups in the whole thing. And I'll just say a fourth of a cup. That should cover it. Because I really, I, I maybe had an eighth or a sixth of all the sauce that was in there. So I'm thinking that's probably a good guess. Let's see, what else was in there? Oh, there was some bacon grease. Um, I put in about a tablespoon, so probably like, I don't know, two grams in my serving. That's probably a good estimation. And besides spices, I think that was it. So that puts my calories for the meal, 756 carbs, total carbs, four grams, and brings my calories up to 1,751 got almost 200 grams of protein, 50% fat, 46% protein, 2.7% carbs, 11 total carbs for the day. Looking pretty good. I'm probably going to end my evening with just some tea, probably with nothing in it. I'll just do one of my evening bedtime teas. I have my evening cup of tea. It is the Yogi honey lavender stress relief tea. It's one of my favorites for in the evening. And that is going to conclude my what I eat in a day video this time. Hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you again in another video.